few days back a 25 year old person named Ben Eckersley from England had tweeted this screenshot image showing his grandmother's search query. This tweet went viral and got lot of likes and retweets. Many major news companies also published news about it. Thousands of people tweeted at Ben praising his nan's good manners. Actually Ben's nan was trying to figure out what some Roman numerals meant and took to Google to get an answer in a refreshingly polite way. She typed please translate these Roman numerals. Thank you. According to CBC report, it seems Ben's grandmother, 86 year old May Asworth, was just trying to look up when a nursery rhyme book was published. Ben got a chance to see Google search page when he opened Asworth laptop. Ben snapped a picture of the search and put it on Twitter for his friends to see. Then the tweet went viral. Can you imagine why she used please and thank you while doing search? It seems she thinks that there is someone, a physical person at Google's headquarters who looks after the searches. Google UK Twitter account responded to the viral tweet, wishing Ben's nan well and finally giving her the answer to her search, that is 1998. Finally, her assumption or hope didn't go wrong. Even main Twitter account of Google also responded by tweeting, Dear Grandma, no thanks necessary. While many people are taking it as a fun, it made me to think like it can be an inspiration for Google to add new features for the Google search. For example, if someone is struggling to frame appropriate search query for finding their expected result, Google may ask them to include some key phrases like please help me to find. Whenever finding those key phrases, Google can divert the search query to a call center for helping the searcher to find their answer. While Google is converting many manual tasks into automated tasks using artificial intelligence, we cannot expect Google to implement it, which will require a lot of manual resources. But they may think about implementing it in a small scale and then they can feed those experience to improve its uh, machine learning.